Now in this lesson we're looking at factorization by a common factor. Now let's consider what factorization is all about. Let's look at this. 2 times x plus 6. Now when we expand the brackets, we get 2 times the x, we get 2x. Then we have 2 times the positive 6 gives us plus 12. Now we've been practicing that quite a lot lately. That process from that step, the 2 outside of x plus 6 to get to there, is known as expansion. All right, We've expanded the brackets. Now if we go from the 2x plus 12 back to this form, that is known as factorizing. All right, so factorization is the opposite of expanding the brackets. Let's look at some examples. We're asked to factorize the following. Firstly, 5x plus 15. Now what we need to look at there is we need to think of, is there a factor, is there a number that goes into both terms? Well, hopefully you can see that 5 is the number that would go into both. So we take 5 outside of the brackets. Then look at the 5x. We're saying or asking ourselves 5 times something gives us 5x. And that would be x because the 5 times the x gives us the 5x. Looking at the positive 15, how are we going to factorize that? We've taken the 5 out, so we need to think of what should go there such that 5 times that makes the 15. Well, it will be plus 3 because 5 times 3 gives us the 15. Let's look at the next example, 6a plus 9y. Well, can we think of a number that would be a factor to both 6 and 9? Well, if you're thinking 3, you're on the right track. So we write down the 3 and then brackets. So let's look at the 6a firstly. 3 times something makes 6a. Well, that something would be 2a. 3 times 2a makes the 6a we would like. Now, moving on to the 9y. 3 is the factor we've taken out, so 3 times something makes 9y. Well, it will be positive 3y. 3 times that 3y gives us the 9y required. Excellent. Our third example here, 2ab plus a. Well, this time we look at the two terms. There's no common number, certainly, but there is a common letter. Notice the a appears twice okay, in both terms there. So we take the a and then we have brackets. So looking at the 2ab, a times something makes 2ab. Well, that something will be 2b. Have a think about that. a times the 2b, that will give us the 2ab required there. Then we're moving on to the plus a. a times something is a. Well that something has to be 1. a times 1 gives us the A. Excellent. Our fourth example, 8AB plus 6BC. Well this time looking at the two terms, they both have a common number, a common factor, that would be 2. Also they may have a common letter, in this case B. So it'd say 2B is a common factor. And we have the brackets then. So let's consider the first one, 8AB, made up of 2B times something. Now I'm pausing a little bit here to let you think of what that something is before I give you the answer. 2B times 4A. That will give us 8AB. Now the next one, 6BC. 2B times something gives us 6BC. Well, that something would be plus 3c. All right, we multiply those two terms highlighted on the left. 2b times 3c will give us 6bc. Example 5. Okay, this is the first example we've used where there are negatives. We've got 4a squared minus 8ab. Well, again, we look for a common number. In this case, 4. What about a letter that's common to both? We can take an A out. So 4A is our common factor. So we put the brackets then. So let's consider the first term, 4A squared. 
is made up of 4a times something. Well, it will be 4a times a. That will give us our 4a squared. Our next term is negative 8ab. So 4a times something gives us minus 8ab. It will have to be minus 2b. Have a think about that. 4a times negative 2b gives us negative 8ab. Our sixth example, negative 3m minus 6. Well, in this case, notice that both terms are negative, so we can take the negative 3 out, okay, because 3 is a factor of both, but also the negative. Both terms are negative, we can take the negative out. So then we have the brackets. Now, negative 3m is minus 3 times m. All right, minus 3 times m will give us the negative 3m. Now, the negative 6, negative 3 times what gives us negative 6? Well, certainly 3 2's are 6. You've just got to decide whether we should write plus 2 or negative 2. Well, it's going to be positive 2 because minus 3 times positive 2, that will give us the negative 6 required. Example 7, 6AB plus 9A squared minus 3AC. Now, to factorise that, we need to find a common factor in every term, okay? Not just the first two or the second two. It's got to be a factor that's common to all three terms. So we can certainly see 3 would go into each term. Is there a letter that you can see that's common? Well, A is as well. So 3A and then the brackets, and one term at a time. To get 6AB, we need to go 3A times something. That something would be 2B. 3A times 2B gives 6AB. Next term is 9a squared, so 3a times positive 3a will give us the 9a squared. And final term is the minus 3ac, and that's made up of 3a times negative c. Excellent. Well, that concludes our lesson on factorization by a common factor.